All right, side friends, good evening to everybody. Almost midnight, you know, we want to say we give God all the praise and honor as usual. Give, thanking Him for life, health, and strength. Thanking for all the side friends, you know who you are in the circle as well. Just come to say a few words to, tonight, y'all, on a nightly video. I felt the need. Uh, me and my buddy, my hammer man, we was talking earlier about certain things and about certain attitudes that people seem to have sometimes and, and seem like sometimes look like all the work that you do it seems to be sometimes taken for granted but nevertheless we know that God is always watching God is always watching and present and he knows what you go through and he's always there with you just continue to do what's right trust God and do good that's what the Apostle Paul always say. I want to tell y'all something. You look at my title of this video tonight. It said, evil will one day be no more. And that is such true. I know a lot of people don't think so, but according to the Bible I read, y'all, evil will one day cease. In other words, as we say, and I remember that, and a lot of the saints, the old saints that gone on, that went on from labor to reward. And I can remember some of them praying the prayers. And they would always say, I can remember them saying, they say they want to go where the, the, the flowers are blooming forever. The flowers are blooming forever. And the, the wicked will cease from troubling and the weary will be at rest. And every day will be Sunday. In other words, I remember the, the older deacons, they would get down there and that would be one of the statements they would pray and in their prayer. And I'm I'm here to say, I'm going to be a witness to that, y'all. I'm telling y'all, everybody, that yes, all this wickedness, one day will cease. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. It seems, though, like I said, we all get, we all get, get sometimes a little bit burdened down. We get we get a little discouraged. I know I do, and if I do, I'm not saying that everybody gets in despair to this point of depression. But I think that I I'm, I think I could feel safe to say that all of us kind of get to in a little bit of a, not this uh, not no real very uh, chronic depression. But I think we all can get a little depressed at certain times, according to the way things are, the course of this world, people trying to do things, in other words, the wicked agenda, as people have called a lot of stuff. Because, see, you know what, y'all, I'm not worried, because one thing I know, God is going to body slam wickedness one day. And I know that. Now, it, 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 it may not, it may not, uh, see, it may seem as though the wicked seem to prosper. Because, you know, it tells of that in the psalm. It is said that one of the psalms is wrote, and I forget his name now, but uh, he said that he had a problem with the wicked because it seemed like they seemed to prosper. But then he, he figured it out. He saw where they didn't really prosper. God laughs at the wicked because he sees the day of day is coming. God is going to body slam all this crazy mess just a few more days, y'all. Count on it. In just a few more days, y'all. Saints, hold on. Be a good chip. Take it like a man. Suck it up. Drive on, as we used to say in the military. Suck it up and drive on. Because we know God is going to take care of this mess after a while. Don't worry about it. Because wicked, the wicked are going to cease from trouble after a while. And God is going to body slam all unrighteousness. It's going to be dealt with. God is not blind. And he ain't deaf and dumb. He's going to, he, 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 God sees everything. He knows what you're going through. He knows your strength. He knows your weakness. God's right there watching. Don't worry about it, people. Just keep holding on. And I'm talking to many men more than I am talking to all of y'all out there. I'm telling my own self the same thing. To hold on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't faint now. We don't come. We have come too far to turn around. Cause God is gonna body slam wickedness. In just a few more days, y'all just hold on, saints, hold on. And to this here course of this world, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot yield to the course of this world. Not and say we follow Christ. We cannot do it, y'all. And remember, remember, Jesus said in this world, 
In other words, matter of fact, Jesus told her more and more and more that following him was not going to be an easy task. He showed us this more times than a little bit. And then I think it was the Apostle Paul that said, in this world we will have trials and tribulations, but good be of good cheer. Okay. God, Jesus overcame this world. So will we. All who call on his mighty, mighty name. And so y'all, I sat here with my coffee in my hand tonight. And I had just, like I said, me and old Hammer man had just had a great discussion about how things are going on and, you know, what you're trying to do with the choirs. And he's a minister of music just like I am and everything. You know, we try to deal with the certain uh, aspects of the, trying to get things right and trying to do things right, trying to tell people the right way to go. Some people will not listen. Some people will not hear you. Some people will make mockery of you. That much is for certain. But one thing about it, we got to continue to do what is right. You will win in the end. In other words, I remember Miss Margaret Allison said a long time ago in a song, if you can't help me, please don't stop me. Move on out of my way. Don't try to block me. I got a race to run, and I run it by faith. At the finishing line, I see God's faith. In other words, we're going to see at the finishing line, y'all, when you keep doing what's right, payday will come out the while. I told y'all I got a song about that. I got to find it. Payday is coming after a while. So let's keep holding on. Even in the midst of they may put us through hell and high water. Keep holding on. And don't ever give up. God got our back and our front and all around it. God got a hedge around it. Remember the hedge he had around Job? Amen. <laughs> we feel good about that, y'all. And so like I said on tonight, we want to say to all of the cyber friends, y'all continue to do what is right. Trust God and do good. Make certain that you study your Bible, y'all. Not just read it. Study it. Study it. And then when we study our Bible, let us study to be quiet and mind our own business. As the Apostle Paul had told us, and let us make certain that we do what we need to do. And stop trying to do what other people do and, and, and worry about what other people say and what they are not... You do what God had told you to do, and then you cut the deck. You'll be all right. That being said, this many man saying, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God ain't in it, please, ma'am, please, sir, come on out of it, because it's going to come to nothing. Remember what I said. The wicked one day will cease from trouble. God is going to body slam all wickedness. Wickedness will be body slammed by God, and you're going to see it. Everybody's going to see it. Just watch and see. Till the next video, next Bible study. This is me, the man, saying peace and good night.